Welcome, Vivian. Please take your seat, and we can begin. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this uh, impressions video for Fear the Spotlight. Uh, I'm Isla. That's Huber, if you yo, don't yo. know. Uh, this is a, it's the first Blumhouse games game, uh, which is cool. They're venturing into games. Yeah. What could go wrong? Um, yeah. watched a Blumhouse joint last night, actually speak no evil, but, um, nice. Love I, shit. neither of us has finished, uh, fear the spotlight yet. Yes. Correct. 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 Yeah. Um, but we're probably like halfway-ish through. I love yeah. it so far. I'm really Same. loving it. Yeah. Same. The vibes are just so right. Uh, we got to play just a little taste at Summer Game Fest. Uh, and in that kind of setting, obviously, a horror game is at a disadvantage because you're you're in a lit room. There's action and chaos all around you. So just being able to like settle into it uh, was really nice. Yeah. Uh, you want to set up the story for people if they don't know what this game is? Yeah. Uh, Vivian and Amy uh, are in the school after hours. They're breaking in. Top tier vibes, yeah. Top tier vibes. Uh, and they're looking for a Ouija board because they're going to do a freaking seance. Yeah. Can you take it out? And that is just like the cold open. That's and how then, it starts. Uh, yeah, and then just classic, classic, uh, you know, survival horror storytelling, like uh, documents and notes everywhere, kind of fleshing in. You know, you'll you'll read notes from other students about you yeah. and stuff, and that's yeah. And then you can just kind of, you know, you'll read faculty notes, you'll hear the teachers' perspectives. So just really good pacing of everything, just giving you a little bit of story, a little bit of puzzles, a little bit of exploration. Everything seems perfectly balanced so far. Yeah, so far. I mean, like, obviously, it, it could it could S the B in the last, like, half, but I doubt it. Like, so far, it feels like a very measured and talented, well-made game so far. I really like um, a lot of the little character details, you know? Like, you start the game with a letter that you're going to deliver to Amy, like, later that night. Uh which is really cute. And like, I, I think that the, the game has a lot of really good, just creepy moments. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't strike me too far as being, so far as being like, it's not like overly challenging or overly gory or overly scary. Like, it, actually it is very scary, I would say, but like, <sighs> not, not in like a, oh no, there's a bunch of enemies kind of a way. It's just like the atmosphere is very effective i think yeah yeah and hearing about the history of this school yeah i mean i I've, i always tell you on reaction shots isla the stuff that scares me the most is the real life stuff yeah uh so you know there's there's not a spoiler but there's like a, a theme of like a fire 1991 that, yeah 1991 fire that went down a lot of children just died in this fire, which is like really hardcore. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously like you and your friend and just, yeah, that, that like real life stuff always gets me. It just feels very grounded. It's a great setup because it feels both classic and new at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like it lures you in with the cozy, like high school horror vibe and then kind yeah. of like shifts things in a different way. I'm because really it's got this PS one look. Yeah, like. Oh yeah. I mean the graphics, I, I know some people don't love it. Um, I really do. I think it's, Same. um, what's really interesting is they have, they have good settings in this for turning off. What did they call it? Uh, there's ambient camera wiggle. There's polygon yeah. wiggle or I did that wobble. immediately. I was like, yo, settle this down. Settle it oh, down. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just a little bit. And the film grain. Like, <laughs> uh, it's it's a it's a cool and weird looking game. Uh, it is really funny when you turn all those settings off, how clean mm. everything looks. <laughs> it's That's just funny. like, oh, <laughs> like this. So different All vibes. the grime is, like, is gone, you know. There's interesting themes of uh, like bullying and kind of feeling like other or out of place in uh, especially like a high school setting, um, which I I think, you know, is probably the 
you know, the metaphor of the title and the core enemy of the game, which is this kind of like a uh, guy with like a, a spotlight for a head kind of a thing. Cla- what is it with horror games and changing things heads? I don't know. It's always the heads. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the head. Pyramid Some head. head. Safe head. Or whatever <laughs> it's called in uh, Evil yep. Dead. Yep. It's always the head. But, um, yeah. you know, and it's just like, you know, whether that's about having the spotlight on you yeah. Literally in a theatrical sense, or or the eyes of everybody else on you. Like, I don't know. Oh. It's it's so far. I, I, like we haven't even finished it, but narratively, I, I find it really resonant. Like Sam, I bet you relate to the theater kid vibe too. Oh, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, <laughs> uh, hitting all the right buttons here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and it's interesting because like some of the notes you get are from before the fire, yeah. and like some of the situations there are paralleling. Uh, the situation that you know Amy and Vivian find themselves in, in in the modern era. I'm not exactly sure how much later after the fire the game takes place because they're yeah. saying like they just finished the renovation. So I'm like, okay, how quickly did they get on that? Like, yeah, it's interesting. I love a lot of like lore. I love kids sneaking into the tunnels under the school. Same, like, same. All yeah, that. Yeah, it really builds <laughs> <Great>. out. <laughs> Yeah, it, it just does a really good job of building out the sense of place, the high school. You know, it feels like kids go to this school. It feels like, like you know, you play for 30 minutes and you already are just so invested in their shoes. It's yeah. like, it's like, oh, I'm clearly like kind of a nerd and they kind of tease me. And, you know, Vivian is kind of an outcast. Like you learn pretty quickly and yeah. i think like finding the other notes does a good job of of representing that and and it kind of shows like oh these are these kids are all like outcasts but for very different reasons you know mm-hmm. like oh she's mm-hmm. the goth kid like she's the weird bookworm she's the yeah. theater kid like and it, you know maybe that says like oh maybe we're not all out- outcasts who knows but um yeah I, I one thing i wanted to say without like spoiling that i really appreciated um very creative trophies. We're we're both playing yes. this on PlayStation, but yeah, I got a trophy for being brave based <laughs> nice. on something I did just gameplay wise. Cool. Um, that like they had to program that specifically, you know, to to detect that, and I just thought awesome. it was really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, like you know, not too much more to say, I don't think, but like I'm loving Puzzles it. Are- I really I love like it. it. Oh, the puzzles are I good. I love it yeah. so much. The puzzles are really good. Uh, they start out pretty chill, but yeah. it's your classic survival horror stuff of just explore your surroundings, read some documents, combine items, yeah, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, late, later on, there was one where I did have to like kind of think a little bit and like, yeah. okay, let me, let me think about this logic. It does the classic old video game stuff Isla where I like had to take a picture of something with my phone I'm like I need to remember that in real <laughs> yeah, life yeah I'm gonna need that later <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah and it's more like exploration um, focused than combat focused like there's not mm-hmm. at least so far really combat at all to speak of it's just mm-hmm. avoidance stealthing yeah. and uh, puzz- like environmental puzzle solving which yeah. I think for this game and the scale of this game really fits well totally um, also, I love that she has, instead of, like, a health meter, it's her lungs, and she has inhalers <laughs> yeah. to heal. Yeah. Uh, as an asthmatic kid, I can relate to that. Um, that's <laughs> Really checking all the boxes. <laughs> it, it, like, this game is is for <laughs> and about me. Yeah, yeah for real. Um, yeah, I think it just complements uh, Silent Hill 2 so well. Oh, you have perfect. this big AAA horror game, and then now... Like a small indie one and a pair and of teeth. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just like the best of both worlds. Like if you're looking for something small for the Halloween Halloween season, like this is it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, highly recommend this so yeah. far. Um, I think we're ta- we're going to talk more about it on the podcast probably this week, and maybe we'll have a chance to have played more of it, finished it maybe by then. So check that out uh, yeah. later this week. Um, but yeah. Loving it so far. Really, really into it. So uh, yep. if, if it seems like it's up your alley, check it out. If you're the spotlight, uh, we are Easy Allies, patreon.com slash Easy Allies. Check us out. We do this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, and we could uh, we really appreciate your support. Um, anything else, Hubie? No? 
That's it. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>